When Chesapeake's Great Bridge High School opened, Teddy Roosevelt was president. The first taxi cab began operating in New York City, and the Jamestown Exposition marked the founding of Virginia's first colony. That was 1907. But that edifice, which weathered more than a century of history, is living on borrowed time. Penny, your size, Liz Palka, talked to those who want to save history and to those who believe the building has outlived its purpose. Liz? Tom, I'm told the old Great Bridge School is the oldest building in that area of the city. A group of residents want to see it preserved, but it's tentatively scheduled to be demolished this weekend, which means there's not much time. If better days are yet to come, if we can save it from the wrecking ball. The old Great Bridge Schoolhouse sits on the corner of Battlefield Boulevard and Mount Pleasant Road. Passersby might not realize the history in these four walls. Now, this picture is from around 1907. My granddad and his uh, sister are in there, and there's their classmates and teachers. And it's taken right behind me on the steps of the old Great Bridge School. It later became Great Bridge High School, according to this picture from 1913. Chesapeake schools used the building until 2010. I just want to see the oldest surviving structure in Great Bridge at least get a fighting chance to survive. The school board voted to demolish the schoolhouse earlier this month. One member said it was an agonizing decision, but in the end, it's too expensive for the school division to restore. We just like to see something that's been lasting 100 years. Give another couple, three months to see if we can breathe some life into it. Robert Parker and a group of residents wanting to save the building went before the school board a year ago. Chairwoman Christy Craig said the board waited to see if residents could raise the money or come up with another plan. Parker says they've been working to get the small schoolhouse and all the buildings on the property added to Virginia's National Register of Historic Places. Then that enables us to utilize tax credits. You'll have more access to direct uh, resources and things from the state for helping to, to rebuild the thing. Parker says the process has been difficult because the group doesn't own the property. Now they're running out of time. Are we late? Yes, we're late. But we're never too late as long as that building's still standing. We're not too late till the dump truck shows up and the bulldozers in the lot here. Chairwoman Craig said demolition will most likely happen this weekend, if not then, soon after. The group working to save the building says they're just looking for more time. They don't want to see this part of the city's history lost. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.